Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What's up, guys? It's Daniel here. Today, I want to do a video reacting to Mr. Ali Dawa here, and he's talking to a supposed Satanist. So, this is an interesting video. I've already seen most of this, but it's been a while. Um, I remember thinking it was pretty interesting how this um, uh, Satanist here was describing his worldview and all that it entails. I think. Um, uh, a lot of people don't actually understand what Satanism actually is, even though we we see all this symbolism and the and these things on the TV and music videos. But this kind of gives a deeper insight into what these people actually believe and what they actually worship. So let's take a look. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. We have what's your name? June. June. That's good. Yeah. June. Yeah. We're in September. We are. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. That's good. June. Yes. I think you maybe you're the first person ever that I'm talking to that is a Satan worshiper. Tell me a story. <laughs> well, um, I was Christian for two yeah. years okay. when I was 18. Okay. Um, I found out about it from my ex, who was a witch at the time, pagan. She was a witch? Pagan, okay. yeah. Um, she used to be a Satanist. Okay. So I found it out through her. And the more I discovered, the further I went into it. I've been to the temples in America. Okay. It just works. It works? Yeah. Okay. He said, man said, it just works. Say, new uh, tagline for Satanism. Satanism, it just works. So when you say it works, what do you mean by that? Works in my life. Gives me freedom. Be who I want. Do what I want within reason. And still have a good afterlife. Okay, so he just said, he just said what? Okay. So when you say it works, what do you mean by that? Works in my life. Gives me freedom. Be who I want. Do what I want within reason. He said, I have freedom. I can do what I want within reason. So it's going to be interesting to see what is his, the, the reasoning behind Satanism. And still have a good afterlife. And afterlife. He mentions the afterlife. Okay, who promised you your afterlife? Baphomet. He promised you it. And why do you know what he said is the truth? In Alistair Crowley's The Book of Law, yeah. it is said that the hierarchy of demons cannot overrank another demon. So Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley. Uh, if you guys don't know who this is, a uh, pretty fascinating individual, wicked man. I think he's quoted as being um, the most wicked man on earth ever. This guy would do uh, very wicked, uh, disgusting rituals in order to become enlightened. And he was close with a lot of um, uh, famous people. I mean, Led Zeppelin was into Aleister Crowley. A lot of a lot of rock music, kind of in. Uh, I'd say early 80s, uh, 70s, Aleister Crowley was um, was intertangled with this these kinds of people. And even who was it? Uh, uh, Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, Black Sabbath, they actually have a song, Mr. Crowley, something. Uh, yeah. You can check it out. So what he says as the yes. rule of hell is true. I'm going to go to Surah Ibrahim verse... Yes. So we can make some sense of this, yeah? Yeah. So now you're a Satan worshiper, so you worship Satan. To an extent. Okay, why do you worship Satan? Is he deserving of worship? So we worship Baphomet. Yeah. We say hell Satan at the end. Okay. They worship Baphomet, but they say hail Satan at the end. So there's a difference between Baphomet and Satan, apparently. Who's Baphomet? Baphomet is above Satan. He's above Satan. And who, who is he? We, we call him Iblis. Sorry? We call him Iblis. We have Iblis and yeah. we have his foot soldiers. Yes. Yeah, okay. So is Baphomet the Iblis? I guess so. Okay, why is he deserving of worship? He promises you... So these people are basically worshipping Iblis. He promises you good afterlife. Okay, good afterlife. Good peace. And so how is he... Good. Well, when you're talking about Satanism or yeah. Satan, we're not really talking about someone that's quite good here. Yeah. So how have you defined that as someone good? Okay. So Satanism comes from two words. Okay. Satan and ism. They both okay. derive from Latin. Okay. Satan, Satanus, which means opposition. And ism... Oh, opposition. Yeah. And ism comes from Ismail which means um, God. So it's the opposition to God. Okay. How could opposition to God be good? So God is good. We don't deny that. We yeah. follow the Bible's timelines. Good question. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But we don't follow his outlook on life. In our doctrine, it does say a lot about the Bible yeah. and what you should. So he just admitted God is good, but we don't follow him because we don't like his outlook on life. Even though it's good, we don't follow it. Follow. Yeah. But for example, it says... You can't have sex before marriage, right? Yes. Or you can't be gay. Yeah. We don't follow those stuff. What? I, lo I love the British accent there. We don't follow those stuff. 
We just don't. It's not in our doctrine. So, so you're rebellious. Yeah. So if you're rebellious um, against God. So basically, they don't want to follow it because um, they want to do what they want. They don't want to have rules. They want to follow their, their desires. She's the ultimate source of all creation and the creator of Baf Bafnet. What's no. it called? What's Bafnet? Bafnet. What? Bafnet. Bafnet. Yeah, he created Bafnet. Yes. Yes. You created Bafnet. He was always there. He was always there. So is he God? So they're claiming that Baphomet here is eternal, uncreated. Which, as Ali Dawa is going to point out, this sort of becomes problematic. Okay, so God is, as you affirm God, what's the attributes of God? Does he have a beginning and end? Uh, all powerful, all knowing. Okay, can you have two all powerful? Yeah. How? Oh. I know it doesn't make sense logically, yeah. but in a, in a broad understanding of it, yeah. it's outside of human comprehension. So if you're putting two all powerful against each other, you won't know the outcome until Judgment Day. No, but the thing is here, on the Judgment Day, what's going to happen is, uh, which I'll show you, but guess what Satan says next, one that you worship. And Iblis, Satan will say, when the matter will have been decided. So he's going, hell is clear, he's going, paradise is clear, right? It will be said, Allah promised you a truthful promise, while I gave you a promise and did not fulfill it. So Satan is promising you a lie. And on the day of judgment, when you're with him, he's going to say... Exactly. Uh, any any um, promise that comes from evil, you can never trust it. Why would you? Because they don't believe in God, they don't believe in uh, judgment, so... They, they don't care about lying. This is what I was going to say to you. I was going to say, God promised you a truthful promise while I gave you a promise and I did not fulfill it. I had no authority over you except that I invited you and you accepted my call. So do not blame me, but blame yourself. Neither I am to come to your help, nor can you come to my help. I disown your association with me, associating me with Allah in the past. Surely there is a painful punishment for the unjust. So Satan is saying, I lied to you. You followed me because they come to you more powerful, number one. Even though it's contradictory, because Allah says in the Quran, if there was more than one God, they would have fight each other. Yeah? Uh, so, the fact that you are following Satan, and you know that God is the most powerful, the are coming powerful. God ultimately has to create. Can I, yes. So, what you're saying is from the Quran. Yes. We don't follow the Quran, and also, yes. we don't worship Satan. So, yes. we worship Baphomet. And you're saying that yes. two all-powerful come together, it contradicts. Yes. It does. Yes, it does. Because on Judgment Day, yeah. you'll see what happens. In the, in the Bible, what is hell described as? I, I don't know. A lake I of fire. Know. It's one sentence in the whole thing. Yeah. Why would we not describe all of it? Well, it does in the Quran. That's why we believe the Bible is corrupted. Where does it say that? The Bible is itself. The, the Bible is the Bible itself. Yeah, this is an issue you can run into with a lot of people arguing about religion from the West is that they don't have exposure to the Quran. And so they don't know some of these differences between the Bible and the Quran that can actually make a big difference in the conversation. But where, where does it say in the Quran? Oh, yeah, the Quran says, Walter goes to change scriptures with their own hand and say, this is from uh, God. Forget what Muslims say. Go to the Bible yourself. Huh? But what you're doing now is you're worshipping something that's not deserving of worship. Oh. And not only that, huh? oh, it's not deserving, it's not deserving of worship because there's something more powerful than him. It's not. Which is God. Yes, of course. Baphomet that you're talking about is not deserving of worship because something created him. No one created him, my friend. No, 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 he did. No, God is uncreated. You can't have two uncreated, uh, uncreated yes, beings. Can, Sorry? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Do you know what cantos are? Okay, tell me. Sorry? No, do you know what cantos are? No. Okay. So, you know, in Islam, you have hadiths. Yes. Satanism cantos, they are poems made after Dante's death. Okay. So, Dante, in one, says, although there may be two more powerful deities yeah. than myself, yeah. there is one worthy of... So, what, what man What man just say? He just said that cantos are poems created after Dante's death. And in the poem, Dante said, so how did Dante say it if he's already dead? Maybe I'm misunderstanding, but that doesn't make sense. Your worship. Well, okay, so there's okay, so there's two powerful, but one worthy of worship. So what scholars have decided from that yeah. is that Dante believed that although there were two more powerful gods that would fight on Judgment Day, yeah. there is something that created them, which is outside of comprehension, and that's the only line in the cantor that says that. So if there's two powerful and one is worthy of mm. worship, I will point still stand because even if Satan, we believe Satan has it has certain powers yes. that's given to him by God. Okay, so he he's saying that there's Baphomet and there's God. And then there's something that created both of them, and that is uh, out of our lens of comprehension. Okay, well, that is Allah, that one that created everything good and evil, that is Allah. He's basically um, just missing that, that one step of comprehension, I think. And that is causing this lapse in his worldview, where he's basically uh, worshipping duality, and that is his God. He's, he's said that there's good, which he's calling God, and there's... Uh, Baphomet and these two are both uncreated but he just it doesn't make any sense what he's saying he said that they're uncreated both of them and then he just said that actually no there's one above them that created everything but you can't understand that so uh, so far he, he's not really uh, making logical sense
We believe the Antichrist will have some powers that's given to him by God. My friend, Satan is not Baphomet. No, no, I know, but Baphomet has certain powers that's given to him. We refer to him as Iblis. Yes. Yeah? yes. Iblis has powers that is given to him. He acquires it by a God. Because he said to God, give me till the day of judgment and I will misguide them. Yes. So what you're doing in a natural is you're rejecting God because God always do something. So you're taking your logic over God's commandment. And that's the reason why Iblis, Baphomet, got misguided. Because... Uh, Ali says logic over God's commandment here. I'm not sure if I would... I get what he's saying, but I'm not sure I would use that specific word logic because that would basically, in my opinion, logic, true logic always leads to God because logic leads to truth if done properly. Now, if you're using logic and you're missing some information, um, then that is where you can be led astray. But using actual logic, for example, you know, if if you were truly logical, you would worship God because you would know that God created you. God is the only God is the master of the day of judgment. So in the end, his opinion is the only one that matters about you and no one else's. So you wouldn't worship anything except for God if you were truly logical. Because God told Jesus him said Iblis is Satan. No, Iblis, no, Satan. We use it interchangeably, but Iblis is the main guy. Okay. He's the one who disobeyed and it's all stifled. Yeah. And then he has his children, little Satans, you know, etc. Yeah. They come, you know, whisper, there's specific Satan when you're praying, there's a specific Satan that tells you to do this and that. So he has his little foot soldiers. The point I'm trying to make here is that when God Almighty told him to bow down to Adam, he said no. And why did he say no? Because he used his logic, his upper logic over the nakal, which is God's text. That's what called him to be misguided. And that's the reason why what you're following is you're outright saying, yeah, we believe there's God, but we don't follow him. Yes. So why are, you, why are you doing that? Because you're using your logic. And your logic is misguiding you. Not only that, you're worshipping something that is not deserving of worship. Iblis, Baphomet, yeah? Uh, what you've um, told me, we already believe. So we know that God created Satan, gave him certain powers, and then kicked him down to the lake of fire. No, no, did he create Baphomet? No. Ah, that's the issue here. We say that he did create Baphomet. How could you have two powerful beings? How does it say Baphomet in your Quran? Oh, it's Iblis. Because what you're talking about, yeah. the head, it has to be Iblis. Satan is not Baphomet, my friend. They're two no, different no, no. people. Iblis. I'm saying Baphomet has to be Iblis. He's if not... he's the main source, I'm saying from our traditions, yeah. he has to be Iblis. If he's the one, yeah. you, you, do you worship Baphomet? Yes. So he's Iblis. My friend, from your Quran, yeah. you only believe one Satan, right? No. No. One, there's Iblis, okay. and there is many of his four soldiers. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, my bad. So you believe that there's Iblis, right? Yes. So what you're saying is just going back to the Quran. Yes. If you go back to our doctrines and scriptures, yes. there's two. They're two distinct different beings. So like you're saying, you've got Iblis and these foot soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. we got Baphomet. So uh, they're basically just having a miscommunication here. And then the Satan, Skip we, do, this we part. don't worship. It's, even though it's called Satanism, I told you why it's called Satanism. Okay. Opposition to God. Yeah. Baphomet is the counterpart of God, but he is described as the God of peace, and he gives you peace in the afterlife. One second. This, uh, let's draw him... What is it like? How, is it like this? Something like this? Yeah. Something like that, yeah? Yeah. And then you have... Okay, so so Ali here, he drew this, uh, what is that, this uh, Star of David uh, as the representation, the symbol of, of Baphomet, and the Satanists here agreed. And, and that's because basically this star is, is up, this star, or, sorry, this triangle is up, this triangle is down. Okay, so this is duality, and this is what Baphomet is. It's duality. And... Um, we'll go into this more later, but it's basically the world. Uh, the, the, this world is duality. It says in the Quran, God created everything in this world in pairs. Okay, Everything is has its opposite. You have cold and you have hot. You have male. You have female. Um, everything has, has a pair. Okay, So this Baphomet God is really, in my opinion, representative of the creation. And what these people are doing by worshipping Baphomet is worshipping the creation god yes and then you have satan yes yeah you worship baphomet yes satan is god's full soldier or baphomet's full soldier made by god passed it down to the lake of fire to become baphomet's foot soldier so he became baphomet's foot soldier now he was created by god tell me the attributes of baphomet tell me something about him. attributes as in powers or looks Looks, powers, tell me about it. Okay. So he's depicted as a goat with a human body. He's got tits and a penis. Okay? Okay. So he is the image of duality. And his attributes, he has the exact same attributes as God. 
can you tell me how he can be God that has two boobs and a penis and his head is a god? Can you tell me how on earth does that even resonate with an all-knowing, all-powerful God, a God of mercy and justice? So that's just what he's depicted as. So if you're putting it that way... Why is he depicted in that way? Why not another way? He's depicted as the image of duality. So duality... That's a good question by Ali. ...man and a woman, okay. and then a goat. So animal, woman, man. All three Again, it's all about duality. It's all about okay, creation. How, how can I relate that and say that is God worthy of worship? So he promised you, you a good afterlife if you just follow him and follow his moral outlook on life. So if you worship him... You and what's, what's, what do you get in the afterlife? So you know how in Islam you have seven levels of Jannah? It's more than that. Okay. Oh, yeah. But to my understanding... No. That's it. See, where I think Ali missed a good opportunity there is when he said, follow his moral outlook on life, Baphomet that is. Um, he, Ali, or personally, I would have probed there and said, what is Baphomet's outlook on life? And that would have been a pretty interesting question because earlier it seemed like he was implying that it was all pure freedom, you can do whatever you want, but he did say within reason and there again he mentioned the, the these morals these this moral outlook so it would be interesting to actually know what is right and wrong for a satanist so in um satanism from dante's inferno and the paradiso purgatorio all that he wrote there's no they're talking about the afterlife okay seven of them continue in torture till you get to the bottom yeah so you're judged on your sins the top two paradise you can have whatever you want now i usually analogize it like this right so if you believe that you can sell your soul to the devil yeah. and get whatever you want on earth, yes. then if you go into hell, which is ruled over by Baphomet, he can give you whatever you want in the first few levels. So in hell you get whatever you want? In the first few levels. You're in the fire. What, what, what there's are you there's gonna, no fire now. We're going to ask for water. So, <laughs> can I have water please? It's hell, hell for hell. There's no fire there. No, you said in, in the first few levels there's no fire. What's there? Paradise. No, you said the other three are paradise. Man just said the first two levels of hell are paradise. I don't know if I don't know if I believe that. Okay. Top two, the top two are paradise. paradise. Seven torture. That oh, just okay. That just intuitively. Um, I think you're kind of silly if you believe that. Anybody tells you, hey, if you go to hell, the first two levels of hell are you are perfect. You get whatever you want. What? So one second. You yeah. said that you if you this if you obey him, yeah, you get paradise. Yeah. Well, to me, you're explaining God. You just given you called it bathroom there. You call it worshiping. All you've done is it's shit. It's idolatry. You said, I'm going to call not in God. I'm going to call him Baphomet. And then I'm going to follow him and yeah. worship him. And then there's also God in the picture. So what's the point of God here then? What's God mm -hmm. here? Is he just watching? Good question. So the reason we worship Baphomet instead of God is because he gives us so much more freedom than what God does. Ah, like relating okay. back to the, um, okay. you know, the sex. And okay, one second, one second. So you said back, back to the sex. Yeah. You are worshiping your desires. So what are you doing? You're well, yes. well desires. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Call it whatever you like. Desires. Yeah, he agrees. Yeah, we're, wor we're worshipping our worldly desires. Yeah? Yep. This is your God. This here yeah. is your God. Because what you're saying is the following. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly how Satan got misguided. Okay. Allah told him to bow down to Adam. Yeah. He said, no, because I'm better than him. He used this logic, which has actually made him... The moment he said he's better than Adam, he showed how stupid he is and how he's not better than Adam. Because he was arrogant, yeah? And he said, I'm created of fire and he's created of clay. So what he's done is he is acknowledging or trying to logically say, well, clay is better than fire. Yeah. God gave him that brain or God gave him that logic. How are you using your logic to attack God? What it tells is right. What you're saying is no, we don't like what God said. We're going to follow what we call Iblis. Back now, you said something else. We're going to follow our desires. Who's going to fulfill our desires? I know. We'll make an imaginary person with a goat and boobs and a penis. Mm -hmm. And we'll call him Baphomet. And he tells us, mm -hmm. this is why we're following your desires. Because no such... Pretty masterful by Ali Dawa there to break it down like that. Exists, I believe. And what you've done is you made it up in your head and you're like, okay, we'll follow Baphomet. Okay, so but that's how it seems to me. And now you're following him because he allows you to do whatever you like. And Allah says, okay. have you seen the one who takes his own desires to his God? My friend, mm. I've said this multiple times. They're not the same people. The Satan says, follow your desires. Uh, I'm talking about Satan. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Baphomet. I'm talking about okay. Satan. So Baphomet, yeah. although he gives you certain things you can do, yeah. sex before marriage, being gay and trans, yeah. Yeah. he gives you certain things you can do. That yeah. isn't in the Bible or the Quran. Yeah, and it's against what God commanded. Yes. yes. So the fact that he's given you the free will to do that and choose who you want to be, yeah. he's worthy of worship. No, whoever, no. whoever you are, yeah. he, he claims you. No, what you're doing is the following. You're saying, because he... Whoever you are, he claims you. That makes him worthy of worship. Worship. That was me to do things God has told me not to do is worthy of worship. In the natural, Allah says, Have you seen the one who takes his desires his own God? The one you're disobeying because you don't have what he's saying wants the best for you. Don't disobey him because you don't like what he's saying. 
if he's deserving of worship, just the way you believe, Baphomet is deserving of worship because it tells you to have some sexual freedom, doesn't mean he's good. For example, and I'll call this example from a discussion. If you go to a kid and say chocolate or broccoli, which one would the kid take? Chocolate. But would chocolate benefit them? No. Which one what would benefit them? Chocolate. The same situation. The chocolate will benefit them in the short term because it will be exciting and lovely and taste good. Mm. But then you will probably run into, if you only eat chocolate, you'll probably run into nutritional deficiencies. You might get a stomach ache from eating chocolate. You're going to run into all kinds of problems. Okay. So when you do follow your worldly desires, of course, it's beneficial to you. It feels good for your body. But long term, this is very harmful to you. It's And even in the short term, it's harmful for your soul telling you broccoli you're saying i want chocolate and if you carry on having chocolate it's going to be bad for you yeah, yeah. You know, the amazing thing about this is what god tells you there is a chocolate for people yes just be but, patient but have it this way yes today ah. it's chocolate it's what's your name june yeah and by the way me talking to you i had to do my adkar you know adkar means my prayer yeah. to protect him because you're saying it's a worshiper i'm not saying you're bad don't get it wrong there there's hope i'm not trying to say but i have to protect myself because we believe in the other realm yeah. satan's jinns yeah, I've, otherwise I would say to you, wait, I have to do my prayer. Well, do you practice like, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. have to say this, but do you practice like magical? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you don't. No, you said you didn't, huh? You said he was, he was with someone who was a witch. Yeah, my ex. Okay. But she wasn't, wasn't okay. afraid of Okay, look, listen, Jun, yeah? Look, you're a fellow human being. I'm sorry if I offended you before about Batman. I'm, no, trying, I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm, I'm not no, trying. What I'm trying to say in the following is I want the best for you like I want for myself, yeah? I believe the path you on is wrong. Fair enough. But what I'm saying is, have you read the Quran? You haven't. Give the Quran a chance. I'm going to. Okay. Let's I'm, give you a Quran. I've been, I've been to a mosque. Yeah? No problem. If you want, get my contact details. Yeah? We can go. We can, but what I'm saying is just think about it. I don't think Ali logically disproved him enough and, and got his message through enough to start um, sort of inviting him to Islam like this. I could be wrong. It's just personally, that's just what I feel. He, you, can, you can tell by his body language he's quite reserved um but um props anyway to ali for lending out that hand god wants the best for you having anything you want doesn't necessarily mean it's good for you. Ah, here he goes he's going back to it for you. there are certain things that god has created us with you can have marriage you don't have to have sex before marriage yeah there is a lot of juices orange juice apple juice raspberry juice mm -hmm. alcohol there's a lot of meat chicken beef duck i'll give you a list king prawns Stay away from pork, yeah? But what, so, what I'm saying, Ali, is he only gives you what you want to a certain extent. No, no, but, but okay, okay, that's good now, June. That's very interesting. Yeah. So what is that, to, to what extent? Even Baphomet is giving you freedom to a certain extent. Here, then yeah. why do you worship the one that's deserving, which is God? It's giving you more freedom. No, but one second. Oh, what does yeah. that mean that's good? June, check this out. Yeah. Baphomet is saying you can do, no, God is saying you can do A, B, but not C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God is saying you can do A, B, C, D, E, F, but not G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Yes. Yeah, see, like people like this that are interested in religion, they look into stuff, they, they want the truth, they're willing to accept different ideas. These are the exact kind of people that end up becoming Muslims. These are people like myself. I myself looked into Satanism and I did heavy research into it. Um, probably by the time I was like 18, I actually had, I had YouTube videos where I went out on the street and talked to people about Satanism. Not that I was endorsing it. I was actually, um, uh, what I was do is doing is I was proving to people how satanic our current reality is and how people don't even know. Um, I didn't think Satanism was, was good at any point in my life. I, thank God I had the intuition to, to, to know that. But point being, these kind of people that look into stuff like this and are, are willing to accept new ideas, these are the people that end up becoming Muslims. So props to Ali Dawah for getting out there on the street and having uh, such a genuine and sincere conversation with these kind of people and not being dismissive about them. Oh, you're a Satanist, you're crazy, this and that. He, he actually had a good conversation with them. Um, and I believe this kid is actually no longer a, 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 Satan, a Satanist anymore. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video today. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Masalam.